it's going to be helpful for us to think of a multivariate random variable in terms of its components, working one component at a time. Each of these will wind up being a random variable in its own right. Let's say that we have a joint probability density rho. We're going to think of this random vector x as having n components, x1 up through xn, each being a random variable on r. Now the joint probability density satisfies everything that it satisfied before. There's nothing new here. It has net mass 1. You integrate the probability element to get the probability. That's all fine. But thinking in terms of the components as being individual random variables is going to be helpful to us in a number of applications. And the thing that's going to allow us to do this is the Fubini theorem applied to the joint density. This acts through a, a method, a technique known as marginalization that is really important in its own right. Consider the case where we have two random variables, x and y, with a joint density rho on the plane. We're going to define the marginal density on x, rho sub x, to be the function given by integrating the joint density to eliminate all y dependence. That is, rho sub x is the integral of rho of xy dy as y goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, this is a probability density on x. Why? Think about it. What's the probability that the x variable, the first component, lies in the interval from a to b? Well, I have to integrate the joint probability density as x goes from a to b, and then as y goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. By Fubini, this is the integral of rho sub x dx as x goes from a to b. That's really why rho sub x is a probability density function on the x-axis. Likewise, you can take that joint density function, integrate as x goes from minus infinity to positive infinity, and get a marginal density on y. That is rho sub y. Now, it's worth taking a moment thinking about this process of marginalization, how you start off with a joint density in two variables, and you pick one direction, let's say x, and you integrate that out to get a probability density on the y-axis. Then you integrate in the other direction to get a probability density on the x-axis. And if you change your joint probability density, if you move that guy all around, then it changes the marginal densities in a way specified by the Fubini theorem. That's a nice picture. But what else can we do? Well, if we have more than two random variables, if we start off in Rn, then we can marginalize to get n different marginal densities by integrating out all but one of the variables using Fubini over and over. Over. This process of marginalization, of working with marginal densities, is going to be really helpful to us.